Thank you very much, Lauren. All right, so let's take a look here at your roadways. Your major interstates are moving along without any problems, but we did have a crash earlier this morning, around 3 o'clock or so this morning, along Rojero Road. So this crash now has Rojero Road blocked. It was a fatality. There was also damage to a power pole. It's along Rojero Road near where that meets Terry Parker Drive, so kind of in that area. If you're trying to get around, just use Gamewell Road instead. It'll just be a slight detour, but that is a residential residential road, so slow it down because there are going to be people, you know, possibly kids walking, uh, people backing out of their driveway, so be careful. Let's get out to our Alana Harris. She's on the scene there along Rojero Road with more. Good morning, everybody. So like Katie said, this happened around 3 o'clock this morning, and there has been one person to die. They were the only person in that crash, and right now police tell us that they don't know if speed or alcohol was a factor. But I'll let you see the scene here. You can see it's very active still. Again, 3 o'clock in the morning, and the car did crash into a power pole, and the car is just mangled up right now. A lot of people on scene right now. The medical examiner is on scene. Traffic homicide is on scene, and they're trying to get this wrapped up. Unfortunately, that one person, again, is deceased. They are are in the process of moving that body as far as what we can tell outside of that. Nothing more to say right now. There's been no more details released as far as the person or the identification of who was in that car. But again, we'll be out here and we'll be monitoring the situation. We'll bring you more updates on air and online with any new developments that we get on this. Back to you guys.